it's nice to hear that determination, your determination to organize towards a 2020 victory. And yet, there are some amongst us in the leadership who initially didn't think, you know, after four years you can wrestle power from these people. And yet, if I may speak frankly, I've gone ahead and almost purchased the power of this party into their pockets and claiming to be aiming towards 2020 when I know, when some of you should know, that their aim is not really towards 2020 because it's not easy to wrestle it from these people in their so-called midterm trial. But that natural trough could and may and will come possibly after eight years. Meanwhile, you secure 2020 out of the way for yourself, so nobody will, will you will be the whatever, knowing damn well that you just give it from full what you call it to pass through when you know 2024 is your target, when they will also be quite weak then. And let me repeat, and this, you're so strong, so formidable, that some party is like it's created and being financed by the West to take away some members of your support base in order to make you, to put you on an even queue with another formidable party, the MPP. You will believe that after 18 years in office, I leave office, my wife and I, we didn't have one dollar in any foreign or local account. One dollar. In the first place, we didn't own even a foreign account then. Former Secretary General Kofiana said he wanted me to help our situation in Africa, the campaign against HIV, etc. And that I need to have a foreign account because they'll be paying some allowances. That was the only time I asked my wife to be kind enough and she went and opened a joint account. Not once did we ever use money to say we're bribing people for their votes. Money isn't necessary or necessity. But don't use it to destroy the moral fabric of a situation. Some of my leaders want more TNT! <laughs> Yeah, right.